Let's look at a few example problems that are that require the knowledge of um, geometric progression. These are geometric progression problems. The first question, question A. It says write down the first five terms of a GP with first term one and common ratio two. Alright? For the first term is one. That's the first term. We want the second term. The common ratio is 2, so to get the second term, we multiply the first term by the common ratio 2, and we get 2. To get the third term, we take the second term 2, multiply the com by the common ratio 2, and we get 4. So remember now, these are the terms. First, second, third, we are going to be finding the fourth next and then the fifth. All right, so here, the fourth term. We take the third term four, multiply by the common ratio two, and we get the fourth term eight. To get the fifth term, we take the fourth term eight, multiply by the common ratio, which is two, and we get 16. So the terms are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Good. So those are the first five terms of this geometric progression. Let's see what we have here. And then go to question B. It says write down the first six terms of a GP. With first term 8 and the common ratio half. Alright, let's see what happens. The first six terms. The first term. The first term is 8, so we write that down. We want to get the second term. So we have first, we're going to get the second term over here. So to get the second term, we take the first term 8 and multiply by the common ratio, which is half, and we get 4. All right? Next, we want the third term. We take the second term 4, multiply by the common ratio, which is half, and we get 2. Good. Then we go to the fourth term. We take 2, the third term, multiply by the common ratio, which is half, and we get 1. Good. What about the fifth term? Term. We take the fourth term 1, multiply by the common ratio which is half, and we get a half. Then finally the sixth term. We take the fifth term half, multiply by the common ratio which is half, and we get a quarter. So the terms are 8, 4, 2, 1 half a quarter. Good. So those are the first six terms of this geometric progression for B. Let's erase what we have and go to question C. The first term, find the first term the common ratio and the nth term and the sixth term of the geometric progression 3, 15, 75 and so on. So we have 3, that's for question C, we have 3, then 15, then 75 and it goes on. All right. The first term, they say to find the first term. Well, we can see it, it's 3. So A is equal to 3. Then they say find the common ratio. To get the common ratio, you take any number or any term and divide it by the term immediately before it. So if you take the second term 15 and divide it by 3, you get 3 into 15, 5. Good. You would also get it if you take the third term 
and divide by the second term. 75 divided by 15. You get 5 just the same. So in this case, the common ratio is equal to 5. Then they ask you for the nth term. Remember, the nth term is equal to a r to the n minus 1. So in this case, it is 3 times 5 to the n minus 1. That's the nth term of this um, GP. It's also called a subscript n. Then they ask you to find the sixth term. So, a6 would be 3 times 5 to the 6 minus 1, which is equal to 3 times 5 to the power of 5. What does this give you? Let's take our calculator and work it out to get the direct um, powers. We have to use the advanced mode. So we have 3 times 5 raised to the power of 5 equal 9375. Because remember what we have is 5 raised to the 5th power which is 3125 and we multiply that by 3. Right? That's how we get our 9375. So it's 9375. So that is the sixth term, A6, right? Now, question D. All right, so A6 was 9375. But anyway, we're going to erase what we have here and move on to question D and see what that is all about. Question D. The third term of a GP is 11.25. Hmm. And the sixth term is 37.96875. Find the first term, the common ratio, and the nth term. Well, no. It should be interesting. The third term is 11.25. Well, you know that the third term, A3, is A R to the 3 minus 1, which is A r squared and the sixth term a6 is a r to the 6 minus 1 which is equal to a r to the fifth power but guess what the third term is 11.25 so we can just equate this to 11.25 what about the sixth term we can just equate this to 37.96875 Alright, so what do we do with this now? Suppose we say Alright You could very well transpose for A in the first expression or the first equation and then substitute what you get for A in the second one. That's one way to do it. You could also divide. Alright? So, let's do the substitution first. A is equal to 11.25 divided by R to the 2. That's what A is according to our first equation here. If we consider A as this, in this equation, what we would have is 11.25 uh, over R squared. Instead of writing A, we write this, because this is A, times R to the fifth now equals, let me write that part again, 37.96875 Now When we multiply these What we get Is Going to be 11.25 Well, you're not going to divide anything 
is going to be multiplied by r to the 3 equals 37.96875 you see that r to the fifth divided by r squared is r to the power of 3 then we divide by 11.25 and say r to the power of 3 is equal to 37.96875 divided by 11.25 so we use our calculator oh let's go back to our calculator let's just go into basic mode it's smaller and then we say 37 point nine six eight seven five thirty seven point nine six eight seven five divided by 11.25 what do we get 3 points oh we need to go back to our calculator 3 point 375 3 point 375 that's our Q now if this is our Q If we have our cube being equal to 3.375, it means r is equal to the cube root of 3.375, which is the same as 3.375 raised to the power of one third. All right. So what we have here is our calculator it's basic mode but we can just say this now we have to put it in advanced mode we don't have the power that in basic mode so this is raised to the power of open bracket 1 over 3 close bracket equal 1.5 the common ratio is 1.5 equal to 1.5 all right so that's our common ratio we can go back up here and write it down they ask for the common ratio r is equal to uh, what was it again 1.5 right r was equal to 1.5 now here they ask for the first term. Now, since r is equal to 1.5, let's erase part of this just to make space. We know that the nth term, which they ask us for 2, is going to be the nth term is a r to the oh why bother to write r we know r already a times 1.5 to the power of whatever it is n minus 1 that's the nth term they want the first term one way we could get this is this a1 what is it the first term is when n is equal to 1 so the first term is equal to a times 1.5 to the power of 1 minus 1 all right which is equal to a now here, what we have done before was to substitute for A, and we found that R is 1.5. Now, if we look at the third term, and we, we would see that what we have here is A times 
r squared equal 11 point let me write that again 11.25 right now we know what r is so let's just erase it and put what it is 1.5 is r 1.5 squared what is 1.5 squared 15 15 is 225 so 1.5 squared is equal to 2.25 equals 11.25 good let's erase what we had here it was just to make a point and then we continue since we're already up there let's erase some of what we have below here and continue using that space so a is equal to 11.25 over 2.25 equal let's use our calculator 11.25 divided by 2.25 equals 5 we get our a to be 5 so a equal 5 all right let's write it down up here a equals 5 we could have also used the second um, term here you know the second equation let's try it let's try that we have a r to the fifth power is equal to 37.96875 don't be intimidated by these long string of digits you're going to use a calculator so you don't have to fret r is 1.5 so you don't have to write r what we have is 1.5 so a times 1.5 to the power of 5 so it's a times what is 1.5 to the power of 5 1.5 raised to the power of 5 equals 7.59375 7.59375 7.59375 is equal to 37.96875 so a is equal to it would be 37.96875 divided by 7.59375 and then we do our calculation calculator is going to be 37.96875 divided by 7.59375 equals ah we get back our five there equals five all right so there we have it now let's backtrack a bit we had Oh, let's not backtrack yet. We haven't finished yet. The nth term. Oh, the nth term. We need to find the nth term. So it is A. I want to write A. Am I writing A? We know what A is. It is 5 times R, which is 1.5 to the power of N minus 1. That's the nth term. The nth term is 5 times 1.5 to the n minus 1. All right, so now we're ready to backtrack a bit. Um, we found A and R by transposing for A and substituting. I had said we could divide as well. How about we try that? We divide both of these equations all right so let's divide them and see what to that if we say a r to the fifth divided by a r squared we divide both left hand side equals divided right hand side now 37.96875 divided by 11.25 a cancels a r to the fifth over r squared is r to the three 
when we divide these numbers, what do we get? We get 37.96875 divided by 11.25 equal 3.375. R cube is 3.375. And then we see that R is going to be the cube root of this, which is raised to the power of open bracket, one third close bracket, equal, and we found R to be 1.5. So that's another way you could have found R, all right? Anyway, that's what we have for this video. All right, we continue looking at this topic in another video. So I'll see you then.